welcome to NI Trending, where we will sit back and relax and we will look at what you've been tweeting, retweeting, liking, and maybe even saying to each other as human beings. Now, I don't know why you've sent me to Castle Rock here on the North Coast, and more importantly, I don't know why you've sent me here for Halloween. This picturesque little cottage, scary? I've had scarier phone bills. BBC presenters Connor Phillips and Holly Hamilton are getting ready for their big day and they're hoping to use their country's traditional language to bring a bit of romance to the occasion. I'm not just here to learn how to speak Irish. I'm here because the language itself has become particularly controversial over the last few months. We are just feet away from where the Irish language classes are. And as you will see, there are unionist murals. Which would suggest at least some local Protestants don't have an issue with the Irish classes when it comes to their own identity. 2018 has given us some fantastic new trending TV. The Bodyguard, Making a Murderer, Part 2, Killing Eve. But in our midst, as you know tonight, we have our very own walking, talking smash hit in the form of Jamie Lee O'Donnell, star of one of the year's biggest shows, of course, Derry Girls. <laughs> Channel 4's biggest new comedy in five years and the most watched series in Northern Ireland since records began. How does that feel? Whenever you get a script and you read through it and you're literally laughing out loud without anybody else being there and you don't even know who else is cast, like that's, that's something really special when you get that and you're like, this is going to be, this is going to be good. Tonight, how dangerous is the air we breathe? When you're coming up over the M62, it's a lovely point where, the, where everything breaks open. You're in the middle of, of a mountain. Beautiful view on a clear day, it's amazing. But you do always see a haze. What is the situation? I don't think the average Joe on the road knows either. Tell me about your groupies and, and, and all the artwork they've done before they come in here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this was horrendous. Yeah, it was a, a painful loss for us. Look down that lens. What do you say to your fans who come out here in their literal ones tonight to support you, Teddy? What do you got to say to them? I'm sorry. <laughs> Manchester City remain on course for what would be an historic four titles this season after beating Newport County in their fifth round FA Cup tie. It took City, though, until the 51st minute to score at Rodney Parade. But after that, two goals from Phil Foden and a fourth from Riyad Mahrez gave them a 4-1 victory to qualify for the quarter-finals. They currently sit top of the Premier League. They'll face Chelsea in the League Cup final next week. And on Wednesday, they'll face Schalke in the Champions League last 16. How do you see your fight with the other Irishman called Conor playing out? Um, I said what I said tonight. I know he's going to see it. I want the world to see it. I want the world to know that I'm not ducking or dodging anyone and I'm only coming out of retirement for one person and that's Conor McGregor. Not a lot happens in New Zealand. They've legalised cats on buses. <laughs> it's, it's an absolute outrage to have a kit, kids loose on buses. Why did they get a South African man to do it? I'm not quite sure why is that. <laughs> Fortunately, that's all we've got time for today. Thank you so much for watching. So, for me, Conor Phillips, 